A gardener plans to make a flower bed. The length of the flower bed is 3 less than twice the width. If the area of the flower bed is 20 square meter, how long is the width and the length? So, for this problem, ang tinatanong niya is yung dimension ng flower bed, which is yung width and the length. So, we have to find out the measure of the width and the length. So, mag-drawing muna tayo ng isang rectangle to represent the flower bed. So, obviously, the flower bed is a rectangle. Okay, so, this is the width. And this is the length of the flower bed. So, sabi dito sa problem, the length of the flower bed is 3 less than twice the width. So, this is the width and this is the length. So, we have to transform this in mathematical sentence. So, if you're going to write it in mathematical sentence, you can say that the length is... 2w minus 3. So, twice the width. So, we have to multiply w by 2, which is the width. And then, 3 less than, which means minus 3. Okay. So, the formula for the area of the rectangle is a is equal to length times width. And the given area is 20 square meter. So, all we have to do is substitute the given data to the formula. Okay, so A, gagawin natin siyang 20 is equal to our L is 2W minus 3 times W. Okay, so... Pwede na natin uh, gamitin ang distributive property. So, w times 2W. So, copy natin to. So, W times 2W, it will give you 2W squared. W times negative 3 is negative 3W or minus 3W. Okay, so this equation is called a quadratic equation. But, hindi pa siya naka-standard form. So, we have to write it in standard form. So, ang gawin natin, lipat natin yung 20 dito sa kanan. So, ang matitira dito sa kaliwa ay 0. Okay. So, we have 2W squared minus 3W minus 20. So, balik, balik, pagbalik ta rin lang natin itong dalawa. So, 2W squared minus 3W minus 20 is equal to 0. So, from this, a standard form na siya, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung value ng W. So, in W, it represents our width. So, sa quadratic equation, Pwede nating makuha yan gamit ang factoring quadratic formula or completing the square. Pero ang pinakamadali is factoring. Okay. So, in factoring, we have 2W squared minus 3W minus 20 is equal to 0. So, gawin muna natin, times natin yung 2 sa negative 20. So, W squared minus 3W minus 40 is equal to 0. Then, get the factor. Yan. So, this is negative 40. So, that means, ang factor niya is ang positive, is ang negative. Yan. Then, Mag-iisip tayo ng number pag tinimes natin negative 40. Pag inad naman natin sila, ang lalabas ay negative 3. So, we have 8, negative 8, and positive 5. Okay. So, hindi pa to yung final na factor niya. Kasi, yung tinimes natin na 2, 
dito sa 20, kaya naging 40 siya. Nidivide mo naman dito sa 8 at saka sa 5. Okay. So, since pag, pag dinivide mo to, it will give you a decimal answer. So, yun to, ilalagay mo na lang dito sa hinahan. So, 2W plus 5. And, ito, pag dinivide mo to, it will give you 4. So, W minus 4 is equal to 0. So, kunin na natin yung roots. So, 2W plus 5 is equal to 0. So, W is equal to negative 5 over 2. And this one, W minus 4 is equal to 0. So, W is equal to positive 4. Okay, so meron na tayong um, measure ng width. So, ang kukunin lang natin dito ay yung positive. Because we are talking about distance for the measure of the width. So, hindi natin ito kukunin. So, ibig sabihin, ang width natin dito is 4 meter. Okay? So, 4 meter ang width. Kukunin naman natin yung length. So, ang length ay 2W minus 3. So, ang gagawin natin, yung 4, isa-substitute lang natin dito sa 2W. So, 2 times 4 minus 3. So, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3. So, our length is 5 meter. So, this is now the width and the length. 4 meter, 5 meter. So, if you get the area, 5 times 4, you get 20.